What's up, Internet? My name is Attack Slug, and this is my video walkthrough for a course I designed in Super Mario Maker called Pure Platforming. As of yet, no one has finished it, so I thought I would give you some tips, and specifically a good buddy of mine, Brian, who was challenging me to courses. I was like, you know what, I'm going to sit down and make a course of my own and see if he can beat it, and he has not beat it yet. Ha 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 ha. Anyway... Uh, this is pure platforming. I'm going to kind of pause and point things out as I go along here, and uh, we'll see how it goes. I'm just going to hit play here, and uh, we'll get started. So this course took me a good about an hour or so to design, uh, and it was fun. Uh, first and foremost, this is in the Mario World style. It is pixel perfect, meaning that you need to jump at specifically the edge of this, uh, the edge of this ledge here. So we're going to jump at the edge of the ledge, get a running start. That one goes one direction, that one goes the other direction, so you gotta pull backwards at that point. This part right here, you have to not immediately jump left. If you immediately go left, you're gonna hit that uh, flame stick there. Uh, so you kinda gotta judge it a little bit, then jump. Then jump around. Um, this part here, the key is you can go left. You shouldn't go left, but you can go left. That does wrap all the way around those, uh, um, those buzz saws. But, here's here's the actual trick to this part. If you wait on the right side for it to come down, you can just skip through, jump, and you are across. And then it's just a matter of doing some hopping here over the red Koopa Troopas, and then heading down to the pipe. Now, second part of the stage. You will see a coin path there. You can follow that coin path if you want to, but you do not have to. Instead, jump over to the donut brick here and follow it down and then hop over to the ice and then hop up to uh, where the cannon is located make that simple hop uh, this here follow this one down uh, so you can get a good running start on that to hop over the Koopa Troopas yet again and head up here uh, now you will see there there is a conspicuous block there and you can go up here and there is a uh, item box but guess what it just laughs at you so no, there's no actual item there. Uh, and that's important later. Uh, but this part here is pretty straightforward. I considered making all these into ice, but I actually didn't go through with that plan because that kind of was too hard for even me. Uh, and then a very simple uh, wait and jump on this cannonball. Uh, and then drop down here because you're going to get hit by spikes. Uh, this part here, make sure you don't immediately jump. If you jump immediately, you will hit the spikes with your head. If you run and then make it to the end and then jump, you'll be fine. And then immediately jump over that. Uh, and I should mention, always be holding the run button. That is kind of important for this stage. Um, this part here, I'm kind of proud of. Uh, this is kind of just complete and utter nonsense. And if you die here a lot, I am sorry. But that is just how I designed it. Uh, you're going to hop up the ice here. I make it look easy. Hop over and then hop up. Uh, then onto the vine section of the stage. Originally, I was going to have that last brick missing to make this jump just jump from the vines to uh, that brick, but I, I, forgot to I forgot to close out the other half of the um, bullet bill. So, that being said, hop off the bullet bill and onto here. Now, this is very important. I know you might be tempted to hop on the, the, um, the donut block and then wait for the bullet bill and then hop on it. But if you do that, you won't have the bullet bill that you need. So... What you do here is jump over and then wait for the bullet bill because you're gonna. That's, that's why I put it in the arrows because you need that to jump off that and then immediately hit down as soon as you hit that pipe to get in that pipe. Now, this part right here uh, is probably one of the meanest things in the course. Uh, the end of the course is real mean. So basically, it's gonna drop you onto a donut block. You've got two blocks to jump on and then an ice block and then the end. So immediately you gotta be moving. It says you mad. And there's the end. Now, you notice there, there are spikes at the end. So if you're going full speed and you don't stop at this ledge, you're going to die. Because believe me, I've done it. And you stop there, hit the end, and then you are done. You have finished the track that I call Pure Platforming. I had seen way too many courses that just had a bunch of, like, enemy spam. And they didn't, enemy spam does not mean difficulty, in my opinion. I wanted to make a track that was uh, a course that relied on your platforming skills and made it difficult that way. So, 
That being said, the course ID is in the description if you didn't get it at the beginning of the episode. Uh, feel free to try it for yourself. So far, nobody else besides me has finished this particular course. Uh, I may design more. I may do more of these little walking videos. I'm not, I'm not, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Uh, that being said, I am your host, Attack Slug. This was my video walkthrough for pure platforming in Super Mario Maker. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time right here on this channel. And I'm out.